just like totally filmed myself fixing my hair. That was awesome. That was so awesome. <laughs> Sunny TV, where it's always sunny. I'm your host, Sunny. There have been a number of interesting things happen this week. The most interesting, the most serious, the most grave is that Rush Limbaugh called Sandra Fluke a slut. He called her a slut for exercising her right to demand free birth control. She's not a slut. I mean, first of all, look at her. She totally prefers women. This is just a message for Sandra. You don't need birth control to have sex with a woman. If there are men who have wanted to have sex with her, they're probably high and sterile. So why does she need birth control again? Oh, well, every woman has a right to taxpayer-funded birth control. Government should fund our medical care. That's a given. That's voted in. Done. And if we're going to pay for birth control, then we should also pay for vibrators. What about those of us who don't sleep with men? I mean, not me. <laughs> I, I mean, never mind. Okay, moving on. Rush Limbaugh totally apologized, and seven advertisers so far have left his program. So... All is right with the world, and I think we can move on from that issue. Speaking of apologizers, Obama apologized to Afghanistan because um, books were burned. But more importantly, he apologized to Sandra Fluke for what Rush Limbaugh did. That is not a more serious emergency national security problem. I don't know what is. I'm so glad the president takes these insults to the average American woman seriously. I'm waiting for my call because somebody called me a bitch a couple days ago and I'm sure he's gonna call me. That's the kind of guy he is. He, no petty thing is too small for President Obama to apologize for. When Barack calls me, I'm going to tell him my little nickname for him. His initials are B-H-O, so I call him Biho. Biho, that's right, that's okay, isn't it? You don't think he'll like Biho? No, no, I didn't think it sounded like butthole. In other news, Barack Obama is squaring off with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu this week. He's Jewish. Benjamin Netanyahu wants to stop Iran from making nuclear bombs, and President Obama wants to stop Iran from being mad at us. And Iran wants to destroy Israel. So it, this is a tough, this is a tough negotiation, a very, very tough, vicious circle. What we need to do, Obama gets this, we need to make sure that Iran doesn't think we're any kind of a threat at all. And then I'm sure they'll just leave us alone. That's the news of the week, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. I'm so bored with this news. I mean, the most interesting thing is the slut thing. So, but really, dudes, all I want is world peace. Peace out. Uh -huh.